say that this one was probably a cash grab. And maybe, just maybe, they should have stopped there, because... <laughs> Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to Zombie Weekend, where we're on day 12, and it is the last day of part 3 of Zombie Weekend, and for this one, I'm reviewing... Resident Evil Afterlife. So this is the fourth installment in the Resident Evil franchise where pretty much extinction has happened, the whole infected run the surface world, while deep down underground the Umbrella Corporation continue their research on the virus and Alice is you know out to fight the Umbrella Corporation to stop their experiments and pretty much try and Survive and everything with some with this time she has her clones as well backing her up And we get some other people in this here. You know, we get like the you know, return of Ali Lata's character and we get Wentworth Miller in there, too And then of course, you know, it all leads to a big finale showdown on the ship Where in a big credit scene Gillian Valentine returns this time part of the Umbrella Corporation and uh, Yeah, the saga continues so what did I like about this one? Well, I thought it was okay. It had some alright action moments in there, some good visual effects, uh, but some CGI that was a bit poor, especially with the effects of mutating into these slivery like serpents with the mouth things. What was all that about? We get, still get mutated zombie dogs as well in this one, and you know, just fighting and stuff, and. Like I say, survival action. But if I'm being honest, this is the point where me, to me, the franchise started to lack in quality and started to turn into a cash cow. And I will say that this one was probably a cash grab. And maybe, just maybe, they should have stopped there because it got a bit more absurd with the others. But uh, this one, it was watchable. But like I say, nothing to brag about or too fancy but it, it was okay it was good but it's not brilliant so uh, yeah there's that but um, <laughs> what can I say about this one just not a lot of great stuff it's just quite poor and for me one of the least favorites to me yeah, you know, when when this one came out, I went to cinemas to see it. But when the next instalments came out, I were in no hurry to see them in cinemas. I was quite happy to wait for them ones to come out, you know, for home media. But yeah, other than them having a few good action sequences, a predictable plot and finale and stuff, and some poor visuals that some were good, some were bad. But yeah. I hate to close Zombie Weekend off with this bummer of a of one, but there you have it. So ratings, am I gonna? Do I rate? Yeah, you know what? I'll give it for efforts. I, I mean, I'll give it probably two and a half brains out of five. Two and a half brains out of five for Resident Evil Afterlife. So there you go. There is my review on that one. So have you seen this one? Let me know what you think down in the comments in below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description so you can check all that out. And yeah, this is the last uh, day of Zombie Weekend Part 3. So the series will conclude in August for the August Bank Holiday Weekend where it will be the final Bank Holiday Weekend and I will review four more zombie movies before this season is out, for season two is out. So, yeah, be sure to check that out when it happens. So, oh, until next time, do have nightmares.